Hello everyone. Finally I'm getting around to doing my um, normal house tour. I've done a fall tour and a Christmas tour and I had a lot of um, comments from people wanting to see what my house looked like um, without any decoration, well without the, you know, the holiday decorations. And that's what That's what I'm here to show you today. Um, I've been had a busy morning out, out and about doing things, and I'm just whew, kind of winded right now. But I wanted to get this filmed. Um, I've got a few spring things out. I was really got a taste for spring. We've had some really nice warm weather here in Virginia, but then here this week. It's like turned cold. It's like 30 some degrees outside right now. And that's pretty chilly. So um, I'm ready for spring to come back. Got cute um, birdhouses and got my wreath for the front door made, the spring one. I'm using some yellows and, and, and turquoises out there. And um, just ready for spring to come back so I can plant some flowers. Coming up in a couple of weeks I'll be plant um, I'll be decorating for for Easter and so I will film those decorations too. This corner cabinet here my my stepdad made me. I think I've probably mentioned that in one of my videos before. Um, my house, how it's situated, I have a, a large tree out in the front yard and a lot of trees out in the back and so I feel like my house just kind of stays pretty dark. Um, so I have to sometimes have lights on even during the day. I've got this door over here closed that actually leads into our computer room but I'm getting ready to make a new computer desk in there. I need a much larger desk. And so we're getting ready to, that's going to be my DIY project. As well as this chair here. Um, my mom and I are going to be making a pretty red chair cover. Right now it's just a blanket drooped over it. My mom gave me this chair and she had made a slip cover matching her stuff. Well... <clears throat> We're going to make one that's red to match my stuff. I'm not sure what you would say my decorating style is. If anybody can look at this video and come up with a term for it, that's wonderful. A lot of, I like a lot of different things. I am li liking a lot of the different aspects of the uh, farmhouse style, too. I love that big crock right there with the plant in it that says Lee. My mom gave me that for Christmas. <clears throat> I love topiary balls. I get quite teased from my husband. You know, when I go over, I go to Hobby Lobby and buy some more. He's like, yeah, we were running low. So I'm like, yeah, babe, whatever, you know. This corner here I just have in this jar I have just a bunch of green moss balls and just some um, green eucalyptus and some yellow stuff in there. Okay, had to pause it for a second there to close the blinds. I'm not sure because I'm shooting right into my big... Um, living room window. It just, oh, it's so hard to find a good spot to um, shoot this spot right here. Sorry. Can't figure out which is a good spot. Um, here I have just some to uh, more topiary balls on top of the candlesticks there. And we put topiary balls on top of whatever we can find. 
and this little stool here. Really cute. I love this red lantern. Got that at Hobby Lobby. Looks really pretty with that, um, what's that fake candle thing in there? But it looks pretty real. And this tall plant stand in the corner here, which has this um, uh, pretty bird cage with the greenery and stuff in it. Looks pretty in the corner. And of course, Angel. Angel! <laughs> Taking her nap. Stuff in this corner. And my husband's big old TV here. And then, of course, have some larger topiary balls down here. And this little red wagon. I just recently got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, not necessarily to go right there, but um, my thought was to um, spray paint it probably yellow and put it out there in my landscape um, flower beds. And maybe set a pot of um, flowers in it or something for outside. Okay, now coming in here into my dining room. This is what we look like in here now. Um, the strand of the red berries on top of the the uh, My Greatest Blessings Call Me Mom sign up there. Um, I did that for Christmas time, but I really liked it. Just really dressed up that corner a bit, so I just left it there. I have so much red everywhere, so it just kind of, it's okay, you know. <clears throat> and for spring, you know, I have, spring and summer actually, I decorate with, you know, I have a few birds here and there. And my uh, quilted table runner, I really like that. And I really like how um, the buffet back here turned out. Um, whoops, I need to go turn the lamps on. Okay, I'll turn the lamps on. I don't know if that'll help. Back there. But, um, just have the t uh, moss balls or topiary balls just on um, sitting on top of these things, um, these red jars. Um, these are just a little potted plant that I picked up at um, Family Dollar for like three dollars for those little plants and set them on top of a stand. That's really good. I do all my flower arrangements myself. That one there I did quite some time ago. Same thing over here. I just sat a moss ball on top of a little clay pot and set it in there and maybe um, put some um, Spanish moss around it to complete the look. And I have these built-ins that were here when, you know, when we moved in and just have all my, you know, my red transfer wear and different pictures and stuff of my family. My house is about the same color scheme, kind of in the living room and dining room areas, kitchen, um, kind of the tan colored walls and the brown and reds going on. Those are just real warm, rich colors that I like. You can see the side over here. Same thing. Goodness, it's hard to get in the right light. That's well, the right spot to make everything show up good. But I've been collecting these red transfer wear dishes for a very long time and even got my sister in law hooked on it. Hooked on them doing it too. So over the years she's collected too. And this is what my kitchen counters look like. Um, yes, I have a lot of stuff out on them. I know some people are more whoops, look at my dirty dishes. Life is real around here. I'm a busy mom. <laughs> I'm a homeschool mom, homeschool co-op, and I'm the children and youth director at a local community Bible study. So I'm just a very busy person. And yes, there will be a few dirty dishes in my sink. Most every day. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> This is one of those, you know, when you have those paint nights, um, 
this was done by a ministry here and it was just really, I really, I really enjoyed it. I'm ready to do it again, April the 1st. I'm looking forward to that. This room out here is our laundry room slash my messy craft area out there. It's just with some old kitchen cabinets and, you know, just stuff. Like I said, I got projects, all kinds of projects going on. This um, the the turquoise chair, right? The chair right there. I'm spray painting it turquoise. The seat is broken in it, so I'm gonna sit a flower pot down inside of it, and we'll sit it out there in my landscape bed. And the little other little yellow chair on top that'll go out there with a flower pot of flowers in it. So I just need spring to come back, <laughs> to come on. Yeah. So lots, lots, lots of projects to do. And over here is the other side of my kitchen. Um, these jars here were um, little DIY projects where you spray paint the lids and I glued the the um, little thing on the top there. And usually they're all filled with candy. As you can see, I have a little bit of candy left. But um, I was sick this past weekend and I didn't get to go to the store to fill everything, get more candy to fill up. And all the cookies are gone. <clears throat> anyway, family is very important. Um, we have just so many family gatherings and craft nights and all of that. I'm going to film one of my one of our little craft get-togethers that we have and do something here. I keep talking about them on here when we get together and do our craft things. And um, I always have a lot of people comment on Facebook. Oh, I wish I was part of your family. So I could come, and I'm like, no, no, you don't have to be part of the family, but you can still come. <laughs> um, when we did our kitchen remodel, I was really wanting to have like um, a book, like some bookshelves right there for my cookbooks, but I didn't know anybody that you know did the carpentry work, and my husband doesn't do it, and. Um, so anyway, so these wooden crates, I just spray painted them white, or I painted them white with a brush, I think. Um, anyway, and so that worked out just perfectly fine, you know, how those holds my Bible stuff, and in the bottom is all my cookbooks, and then there's an extra junk basket for stuff on top there, and that kind of, you know, just really works okay well for, for our family. I'm just going to kind of pan around. This is um, probably the third year since we've um, done our kitchen remodel. Where um, right here there was a wall that came out here dividing the dining room and the kitchen. And we knocked that wall out to make it a big open space which just really better, better fits you know, our family and our family functions and all the things that I do and um, we've really really you know really enjoyed it and I think it came out looking nice this table here was my my parents table and chair set um, when I was I think they got it probably when I was probably a young young teenager even that so um, I really really want a like a farmhouse style table to go right there but um, I'll get it one of these days. Um, this is a really, it is a really nice, big, long, open space now. I'm going to try to walk back over here more in the kitchen area so you can kind of see the span of the dining room. I don't have a huge house. We just live in a, you know, just a, a rancher style house. Um, But it's, you know, it's home to us, and um, we've done some remodel here and there, you know, and um, updating, and it's home, and it's cozy. <clears throat> My um, stepdad also made this really pretty um, thing right here. You can see how my foyer... So when you open my front door, which is... Right there is my front door. You know, you open it and immediately you see in here into the dining room. And, oh, the yellow birdhouse is my sister-in-law. She wanted me to paint some flowers on it for her. 
<clears throat> but we've all been um, suffering um, with that uh, stomach bug that went around. Ooh, that has been nasty. So anyway, we're all on the road to recovery from that. Finally, thank God. So, um, yeah, my stepdad made this. It's really pretty. That's really good work. It made me years and years ago. Okay, last room I'm going to show you a uh, glimpse of is in my bathroom. Um, I have this tall, slender um, bookshelf here that also my stepdad had made many years ago. Um, oof, I need to do some towels. Um, we did a remodel here. This used to be tile along this back wall here and we knocked all that tile out and put up this pretty bead board. Um, took out the old um, medicine cabinet mirror, you know, the metal things that were in the wall. Took that out and put this brown mirror up and a new, a new light fixture and put a new medicine cabinet over here um, above the toilet. Um, put a new um, slimmer vanity in. Um, this tall skinny topiary here I got um, not too long ago at AC Moore. And um, this right here, I this is a DIY project. The round circle comes from AC Moore, and I think they're like 79 cents or so. And these pieces here are, um, I think there's two of them together there, and they were like 99 cents each or so at AC Moore. And then this piece here I had gotten at Walmart some time ago too and I just like painted those and glued them together and then glued this on top of the, those um, for a taller you know more, for a more symmetrical um, um, candle stand there and this um, little small bird cage right there and the greenery in it, also all those came from, and the candlestick actually too, came from Hobby Lobby. I think the pattern or so in this kind of matches what's going on in the curtains somewhat similar there and this right here I got at Michaels it was unstained unfinished and so I just put some wood stain on it and then this right here just put a little coat of paint on that and just glued it on there the blue plate I got a Hobby Lobby And this little this little cubby corner over here is kind of you know, can't do very much with it at all. But this little tiny table was my husband's aunt's little table. I don't even know what it's called. And um, my sister-in-law gave me that blue candlestick thing there, and I just set that plant pot on top of it, and it just kind of really fills in that little corner just fine right there. And um, this. I painted this plaque right here. And here we are again, back into the dining room, kitchen area. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And I uh, will see you in a few weeks when I do my um, some, some Easter decoration tour. Thank you, everybody. Bye.